Okay, well, I make it about 10 o'clock, so I think that we need to get started. Uh, firstly, I want to make sure that everybody can hear me. If there are any issues, obviously um, there's a method for feedback. So uh, without further ado, we'll kick off the session for today. So today's session will be an introduction to SharePoint. My name is Robert Crane. You can see my email address there, so at any time in the future you feel that you have any questions or comments about SharePoint or these presentations in general, please send me an email. You can find more information about myself and my business at www.ciaops.com. So without further ado, let's kick off the session. So. Let's start off with a bit of housekeeping. Uh, the first thing I want to let you know is that if you are on Twitter, please feel free to use the hash CIAOps tag to make comments and feedback on Twitter. Um, it's probably going to be easier for me to work with something like that rather than use the feedback that is in live meeting. Um, I've got enough of my plate and haven't got enough hands, unfortunately, to cover everything. So if you can put any comments into Twitter using that hashtag, I will find them. If you do think that it's worthwhile following me, you'll find my Twitter handle at DirectorCIA. Okay, so what I'll do is that information about obtaining um, a resource guide, which I've developed to go along with this presentation, that information will be available at the end of the session. Um, so stay tuned for that. So today's agenda, we will be having a look at what is SharePoint, the different SharePoint products, why you should be looking at SharePoint, the different SharePoint versions, because that's always very confusing for a lot of people. We'll have a basic overview of a SharePoint site, a quick run through, and then finish off with some conclusions. So many people ask me, why do we look at SharePoint as an option? So here's a, a couple of examples I believe are very important. Firstly, Microsoft, um, you can see, generates a huge amount of revenue from, um, from SharePoint. And as New York Times here says, it's the hottest selling service side product for the company ever. Another quote here from the New York Times talks about how it transcends open source and its ability to lock in customers to a complete Microsoft stack. And again, as we'll find in the presentation, SharePoint is used best when used with other Microsoft products. And finally, an important point to remember that Microsoft, uh, that SharePoint is the fastest growing server product that Microsoft has ever had. And again, with new versions becoming available, with more and more people finding out the benefits of SharePoint, with versions being available online via Microsoft BPOS, for example, um, again, it's only going to continue to grow. So let's have a look and try and explain what is SharePoint. Okay, the simplest way to shop, define SharePoint is it's simply a tool. Unfortunately, I believe Microsoft and a whole lot of other people, especially coming from the enterprise level, tend to define SharePoint as a collaboration tool, a document management tool, all these most complex terms, which unfortunately to most clients is just gobbledygook. The easiest way to go and sell SharePoint or explain SharePoint to anybody is just to let them know it's a tool. It's an ad hoc tool like Word. It's an ad hoc tool like Excel. Okay, that's all it is. It's a one word definition which helps them better understand what the product is. The bottom line is, is the reason I describe it as a tool is because customers want tools to solve their business problems. They don't want more technology. You stop and think about it, the most common application that is on every desktop is probably a word processor and a spreadsheet. And in most cases this will be a Microsoft product. So again, to help people understand the benefit of SharePoint and to avoid confusing them, again, it's best to describe it as a tool because they already understand software tools. They already understand what benefits things like Excel and Word bring to their environment. They're not looking for something that's complex that's going to take them months and months to learn. They want something that they can get up to speed and run with really quickly. So again, that's why defining SharePoint as a tool is the most effective strategy. Okay, so there are two versions of SharePoint. Firstly, there is one, something called Windows SharePoint Services, which is commonly referred to as WSS. 
The other version that you will see out there is Microsoft Office SharePoint Server, which is referred to MOS. Okay, the big difference between these two versions, aside from the technology, is the fact that the Windows SharePoint Services product is a free product. It's available from Microsoft for download. It can be installed on most Windows Server products um, at no cost. And again, there's a big benefit to installing that on customer environments. For those customers who need more features and more functionality, there is the Microsoft Office SharePoint Server version. Now again, you're looking at at least a couple of thousand dollars in software costs alone to get MOS up and running in an organisation. So not only are there server licences, there are also licences for the clients. Okay, so it's a fully licensed product. Windows SharePoint Services license resides with the Windows Server license. So it can go on the Windows Server and it conforms to the same licensing as Windows Server. So let's have a look at the differences between WSS and MOS at a technical level. The important thing to remember is, is that WSS is the core for both products. So MOS incorporates all the features of WSS. And many of the features of WSS include document management, website templates, web part framework, data lists, all sorts of things like that. When you add on a product like MOS, MOS will build on the foundation that's provided by WSS and provides key enterprise level features. Right, the important thing to remember are the enterprise level features, including social networking, business intelligence tools, business process integration, form support, and full enterprise search. Okay? So again, a lot of these enterprise level features are not necessarily required by a small to medium organisation. In many cases, WSS will fill their needs more than adequately. And there's nothing to stop you or stop an installation that you can upgrade from WSS to MOS. The reason for this is, is that MOS is built on the WSS framework. So again, one is simply an enterprise level version of the other. And again, what we will focus on here, what I'm going to focus on is WSS, Windows SharePoint Services, because that's more relevant to the SMB level market. So again, as I mentioned, SharePoint should be considered as a software tool. The best way to describe it, as I mentioned, is that it's simply like Word or Excel. When you start SharePoint, it's effectively empty. You have the functions, you have the features, you have some basic templates, but there's no value in the product simply by opening it up and doing nothing with it. The value comes from the information entered into SharePoint. So again, it's very much like Excel. When you open up Excel, the spreadsheet's blank. You need to sit down and put the formulas in, put the information in, enter the data in, and do the calculations, create reports, and do printouts. Okay, SharePoint is very much the same thing. Don't be under the expectation by simply putting in SharePoint that it will solve all the collaboration requirements of a business. No, it just provides a platform on which these sort of functions can take place. Again, the value is in the information entered into it, and somebody needs to enter that information into SharePoint. Again, you can access SharePoint using only a browser. This is one of its most powerful features. So again, you can have a desktop, or a mobile phone, or access from an internet cafe, only via a browser. So you can interact, you can add information, you can update using a browser only. 